Work to remove 42,000 cubic yards of volcanic material at the Pohowiki boat ramp. The largest dredging job ever for the state of Hawaii is progressing fast. I'm absolutely blown away. They're probably about halfway done with the excavation. The original schedule was February of next year. Um, they have the full nine months to do the job, but um, you know they were anticipating to be completed by November. So yeah, so we'll see. This was once a prized surfing spot in Lower Puna. And the boat ramp was vital to the local fishermen who harvest the ocean's resources. But the 2018 eruption of Kilauea on the Lower East Rift Zone dramatically transformed the bay into a sprawling beach and landlocked the boat ramp behind a wall of black sand, rock, and boulders. In the years that followed, the community worked on a strategy to restore the ramp, an effort that required careful planning and considerable funding. The total cost for the dredging project is just over nine million. We had sought initially funds from FEMA, and um, I think we realized that we ended up needing to just use state funds for this. Lawmakers managed to secure 5.4 million in state funding and nearly 3 million is coming from a special fund under the DLNR Division of Boating and Ocean Recreation. The community gathered in June to bless the project. <laughs> We wouldn't be here without the community. And it was through their advocacy. When you think about this is one of those critical locations. And you know, so interesting, um, the lava flow didn't affect the harbor, the pier, but it did prevent access and the uh, ability for boats to get in here. But this is, the only other location is in Hilo or Kona. So this is a real critical location for the fishermen of this community. Goodfellow Bros, contractor for the job, is using heavy equipment to scoop large buckets of volcanic material. Once the inner basin is cleared, a crane will be brought in to create a wide entrance. The approach was to do a very wide channel, and that way you have a big, wide open channel um, instead of a narrower channel with protective structures on either side. Most harbors in Hawaii need to be dredged every seven or eight years. Time will tell if that will also be the case for this location. You know, that's to be seen. Um, you know, we really, this is like an unprecedented thing. It's not like fine sediment that you get, um, uh, like sand and silt that you get for normal dredging projects. It's got a lot of heavy material. So we don't really know exactly how to predict um, how quickly the channel might start to fill in or how soon we're gonna have to dredge. So yeah, we're gonna just have to closely monitor it after we complete. And then, um, you know, and then we'll kind of get a better idea after that.